Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, I've been around tennis for 30 some years as I keep telling you guys, and I've pretty much seen everything. Today, I'm gonna be talking about the top things you guys always leave on the court and lose. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so the top things that every tennis player, most tennis players, more than others, leave behind, sometimes all the time. All right, I, I know this is an interesting video. I just want you guys to be mindful that you kind of leave your crap all around and all the time. So I just want you to, you know, double check and check, check, check before you leave the court. So you don't call me and say, is my wallet there? Is my phone there? Is my keys there? Because I hear it every day. So you know how you go, you check out of a, a hotel um, and before you leave, you hopefully double check the room before you walk out? I know I do. I do double, triple checks. Check the drawers, make sure I don't leave my dirty underwear in that drawer, right? And then I leave, but I double, triple check. You should do that before you leave the court because somebody might take it from you when it's not, when, when you're gone. Okay. Hopefully you get it back, right? Lost and found is a big area in most of the, most places or clubs that keep your crap lying around forever. And then you forget about it and buy a new one. Okay, so sorry about the complaining. Okay, now, before I go any further, I'm going to make this coffee disappear. Okay, so enough about that. All right, so the top things you guys lose. Okay, does somebody see my cap bucket hat? Yeah, guys, these are lying around all over the place, whether it be you, your kid, your wife, your husband, grandma, grandpa, whatever, after you sweat and soil these things, you know, you just leave them there to dry and then forget about them. Jesus, you know, there's caps galore everywhere, guys, caps, hats. And we don't want to touch your sweaty caps. Jesus. All right. Next. Guys, there's clothes all over the courts. Uh, well, it's, like, it's like a laundry mat, guys. You know, we might as well just go pick up after you. You know, like, what'd your mom tell you? Come on, pick up after yourself. But shirts, sometimes shorts. I don't know how the heck shorts got out there, but it's on the court, guys, and you left without it. How is that possible? All right, so get your shirts. Get your... The, no... One, the top thing, the top thing that people leave behind, and I lost mine already. I probably lost 10 of them already, just like you guys. So I don't even have a picture for you. Right, I lost my freaking water bottle. So, why don't you carry one of these and you won't lose it because it'll be in plain sight. Because I have probably a nice storage of about 50 to 100 water bottles. I could probably open up my own water bottle store. And some of those are super expensive too. You guys have good taste in water bottles. Too bad you lost them. All right, so this is my current water bottle. Get one of these, you won't lose it. It filters the water out too. All right, so, and surprisingly, I'm not sure if you won or lost, but you guys leave your rackets out there. I mean, it's like one person loses a racket at least once or twice a week. I, I don't understand. You're like, it's like sitting there on the bench like this. It's not like it's under the bench. It's not like it's 
you know, hidden somewhere. You literally just walk out without your racket. So I, <laughs> I don't understand how you leave your racket on the court. I don't think I've ever done that. Uh, so guys, remember your rackets. It's your weapon. All right. Now, the one thing, the one thing that I want you guys to know that you guys lose out there and everybody does it. It might be every freaking time you play, but I just want you to be mindful of it right now. You know, <laughs> what is that guys? It's a gingerbread man, right? So why am I holding this gingerbread man? And why am I talking about you losing things out there? Well, the number one thing, aside from water bottles, that you lose out there is your head. I want you guys to be mindful. In order to play well out there, we got to keep our head straight and in the game. This thing's pretty soft. Oh, it's going to be hard. Teeth, guys. You know, it's really good. So don't lose your head when you're playing tennis. All right? Unless you're John McEnroe and you're trying to hype yourself up. Okay? Keep your head in the game. Just like um, High School Musical. All right? If you haven't watched High School Musical, there's one, two, and three. Number one, keep your head in the game. All right? Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.